I, uh, I mentioned before uh, the, the number of jobs I, I held. I was in, I was in service uh, in 1952, 1952 to 1954, the Army, actually. And uh, it didn't take me long to realize that in, in large corporations, and especially the military, uh, the Peter Principle seems to apply more than anywhere else. A man literally uh, can be promoted fully three or four levels above his competency in the military. And uh, this was illustrated by a, uh, a record routine about a, a captain on a, uh, a nuclear submarine who had, who had been... Uh, I know some of you know, know these routines by heart, but it, it throws me off to watch your lips move along with mine as I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, Anyway, it was one of the most direct, disastrous trips uh, ever taken by a submarine. And the captain got up and he gave an address to, to the men after they had completed their two-year around-the-world uh, trip. And uh, he's making these remarks just as they're about to surface. <clears throat> Man, in a few minutes you're going to be uh, reunited uh, with your loved ones, and, and in some cases your wives. Well, I'm, I may not have phrased that correctly, but I, I, think, I think you may know what, what I meant there. I've just jotted down a couple uh, things regarding our trip. Uh, first of all, I'd like you to give the cooks a standing ovation. I, it is a tremendously difficult job on a submarine. You, you, men, uh, you men want to stand now for the cooks? Come on now, men, let's let bygones be bygones and hear it for the cooks. <laughs> That's, that's a little better. Uh, as we're adding another glorious page to, to the already illustrious history of, of the USS Codfish, <laughs> I don't know if you men know this, the Codfish uh, holds the record for the most Japanese tonnage sunk, uh, being comprised of five freighters and five uh, aircraft carriers. Uh, unfortunately, they were all sunk in 1954 <laughs> when we... We were no longer at war with the Japanese. <laughs> However, it, it stands as one of the largest uh, peacetime tonnages ever, ever <laughs> summer. Oh, we, we've just been officially notified. We have cut a full two minutes off the previous record of four minutes and 29 seconds in surfacing, uh, firing at the tow target, and then, then resubmerging. And I, ju I just want to congratulate you men on the precision and the teamwork uh, you displayed at that time. Uh, at, at the same time, I don't in any way, uh, I mean, to slight the, the contribution made by the, the men we had to leave on deck. I, <laughs> I, th I, think, I think they in no small way had, a, had an awful lot to do with the, with the two minutes we, we were able to take off the record. And I doubt if any of us will, will soon forget their, their somewhat stunned expressions as... <laughs> as we watch them through the periscope. <laughs> Man, nobody enjoys a joke uh, uh, more than I do. However, uh, I, I, would, I would like the executive uh, officer returned. Uh, <laughs> we've looked all over the ship. We looked in, in your duffel bags and the torpedo tubes. Uh, you know, we're lucky it wasn't a navigational officer, but I, I think there's a principle involved here. Uh, Looking back on the mutiny, I, I think... <laughs> I think a lot of the problem there uh, stemmed from the fact that you men weren't coming to me with your, your problems. As I, I tried to explain to you uh, as we started out, the, the door to my office is, is always open. I think, I think you know why it's always open. That, uh, that was stolen, I'd like that return. <clears throat> Could be the work of the same man, I don't know. Uh, since we started the trip on such a, a low note, I'd like to end it on a, on a high note. And to me, there's nothing more impressive in the Navy than a, as a submarine just breaks water to see a bunch of sailors in, in their dress blues as they come rushing up out of the, uh, oh, the, uh, <laughs> the hole in, in the front of the boat. <laughs> hatch, hatch, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, all right. I've just, I just been notified we are going to be surfacing, uh, and within a minute or two, you're going to be gazing once again on the familiar skyline of either... Yeah. 
New York City, or is that Buenos Aires? I can't make out your writing. Thank you very much, man. Thank you.